Hello, my name is Sandra Lupson and um, I am 63 years old. I spent 20 years as a physiotherapist, most of that within the NHS. And unfortunately, seven years ago, I had to retire um, with ill health uh, due to increasing co chronic fatigue and pain. Um, so I was 57 then in 2012, thinking I only had three years to go to retirement to reach my state pension age. The year after I'd retired from the NHS, I received a letter to say that actually my pension age would now be 66 and that would be 2022. To say I was flabbergasted is an understatement. Instead of managing for three years, I had to manage for nine more years. I wasn't well enough to work, I'm still not well enough to work and I still have three years left without any income apart from my small NHS pension. I do realise I'm really looking up to a lot of the WASPy women, um, some of whom, whom are sofa surfing, homeless, visiting food banks, selling their homes to fund their lifestyles. So I feel truly fortunate that I do have a small NHS pension, but I do feel that we are owed our pensions, we paid them in, we were promised that we would retire at 60 and then the successive governments and changes to the Pension Act stopped that. So. I am really thrilled that Labour are actually um, addressing this and are going to give some compensation to women like myself who are struggling. You know, life is difficult enough and for me, I will be voting Labour and that is the reason that I am supporting Josh Fenton Glynn and supporting the Labour Party wholeheartedly with their promise. When well, I'm immediately challenged by various people on the media, how can you possibly do this? How can you possibly afford this kind of thing? I simply say this, it's a moral debt and a moral duty of this country to pay people pensions that they themselves have contributed to and have a way to 